Hi guys, you're welcome to another episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory. My name is Glory Elijah and for today's episode, I'm gonna just go straight to the point, hit the nail on the head. I am totally, totally disappointed in the way things are being handled in this country, Nigeria. I mean, come on, an electoral body cannot give so much assurance to the people to the government, to everyone, that on the 16th of February 2019, the presidential election is going to hold, and then just a few hours before the event, they gave out an announcement to postpone the arrangement. I mean, who, who does that? A lot of people have left their, their workplaces, they've left their businesses, they've left their families, they've left their homes to travel to where, wherever their polling unit is. A lot of people have traveled to go and cast their vote. And without even giving due consideration to all of these sacrifices that Nigerians have made, INEC went ahead to postpone the election. I mean, for the first time ever in Lagos, I realized that there was no wedding whatsoever on the 16th of February. I realized there was no wedding whatsoever. Lagos was silent. Lagos was shut down. And why? All because the awareness has increased, Nigerians are more aware, Nigerians are more interested in the political standing of this country, Nigerians are more interested in what happens in this country. So everybody, I mean, everybody has been really, really involved and everybody has been really, really looking forward to cast their vote. All for INEC to just come up in a few hours to the election to come and say that, oh, sorry, we have to post but like it does it's not right it's not right i mean there's certain things that happen in the country and people just tend to keep quiet and shove it off but then this one is totally unacceptable it is totally totally unacceptable there are other countries that have war issues that have issues going on crisis here and there but still they go ahead with the election because they know that another way of putting an end to all of this crisis is to bring forth a good leader, a competent leader. And that was what was supposed to happen on the 16th of February, but INEC came up with a flimsy excuse just to postpone. A lot of people were affected. I mean, I was on Instagram yesterday, yeah, and I saw a lot of um, comments, you know, um, a particular guy was supposed to have his wedding um, next Saturday, that's the 23rd of February that INEC postponed the elections to. And unfortunately, this guy already moved his wedding to that same 23rd and he is Catholic. So according to him, there is no more weddings for Catholic churches till the month of April. I mean, how can INEC with their incompetence just alter the destinies of people like that? Without even giving considerations to, to people who have made a lot of sacrifices to travel wherever all over Nigeria to cast their votes. That aside, let's even talk about the NYSC coppers, the core members, who were left stranded in the different locations that they were designated to. I mean, why do we have to be so harsh on ourselves? Why do we have to be so harsh and irrational sometimes? Listen, Nigerians, this is totally unacceptable. And I am using this medium to tell everyone out there that's watching this video right now, do not be deterred do not be deterred the people who are trying to draw power to their coven they know that nigerians are, are more aware now they know that nigerians know what's up now they know that nigerians are ready to stand on their rights and vote the right person that they want so they are trying to do everything in their power to stop this process and i am here to encourage everyone this morning do not be deterred do not be scared do not allow inex incompetence to discourage you from from casting your vote do not sell your conscience do not feel too lazy to go out to vote do not feel too lazy whatsoever to do what is right and that said that will be all for today's episode of frankly speaking with glory elijah i hope i spoke your mind if you know that i spoke your mind please drop a comment below in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so right now by clicking on the subscribe button and thanks for watching guys bye